fingers were at my rounded pot. So. <laughs> and moments ago, when I was ordained, I was ordained in Hebrew as Ron, the son of Michael and Shulamit, acknowledging my parents in me and in this moment in my life and theirs. And I want to acknowledge my mother of blessed memory. And I want to acknowledge a dear and special friend who passed away, a dear and special colleague and friend and fellow student at the Academy, Jim Rudnutsky, who passed away today, two years ago. And today, when I stand here, it's with awe, because I stand not only for myself, but for him as well under this talit. A few weeks ago, in Uganda, I heard a Kenyan woman tell a Russian story. That's our world. And the story was of an old priest wandering at night in a forest, and he's accosted by a soldier. And the soldier stops him at gunpoint and asks him, who are you? What are you doing here? Where are you going? And the priest stops. And with a smile, gently, he lowers the gun from his chest, and he asks the man, how much do they pay you to ask me these questions? And the soldier tells him, the man says kindly to him, I'll pay you double if every time you see me, you ask me those three same questions. Who are you? Why are you here? And where are you going? I stand here as a testament to the fact that I've asked myself those three questions countless times, and they brought me to this place. This is my answer to those three questions before my children and my parents, my siblings, and my family, and my friends, and my community. I stand here because I'm constantly asking questions that, thank God, have brought me before you today as a rabbi.